role of music the role of music particularly in indian films is one of paramount importance many films have posted record box office collections only due to music and songs when a platoon attacks the background music provides viewer with the inspiration though in real life it never happens similarly a romantic scene or a kiss in the film is al- always accompanied with melodious music though it never happens in real life in movies one not only accepts this paradox but demands it that is the power of music in films music guides the emotional response of audience as per point of view of director it provides sign post to tell audience how the film director wants them to react or respond some directors play music in contrasting and most unexpected and, and imaginative manner like singing in the rain sequence in stanley kubrick's film clockwork orange in many cases the theme music is used to foreshadow upcoming unpleasant event particularly in horror or terror films music is also used to shape the ethnic cultural geographical milieu of the film role of spoken words spoken words give voice to the character their interactions environment mood flow of story and hence are one of most important sound components of films in addition spoken words are used as voice over and for giving subtext to a scene voice overs are predominantly used in documentary films these are also used in some of the feature films to provide background to story you may recall amitabh bachchan's voice over in hrishikesh mukherjee's film bavarchi voice over helps to move story from one environmental space to another voice over need to be unobtrusive poorly used voice overs look like the divine voice or the voice of god with implicit meaning of it being unquestionable feature film makers do not frequently use it for this reason as they want to permit audience own judgments and respect audience own wisdom subtext there is often a subtext to the words we hear or say subtext is some underlying meaning which is implicit and not explicit in the words we use actors use the subtext as a implied meaning of their spoken words in conjunction with their body language distinctive voices some actors have their distinctive voices which define their characters to a large extent for example marilyn manro had peculiar breathy high pitched voice which lent a sensuality to her character near her home dilip kumar's melancholy laden dialogues or monologues in unintelligible monosyllabic form in his tragic films is also a classic example of distinctive voice another example is devanand's effervescent rapid fire dialogue delivery giving a sense of bringing up energy and hopefulness which defined his screen persona rajkumar amitabh bachchan raja murad are outstanding examples of actors gifted with distinctive voices which they used very effectively <music> stages of sound production there are three stages of sound production pre production stage production stage and post production stage pre production stage practically sound designers are not involved in sound design in pre production stage sound team is often given the finally edited material to insert the designed sound elements they are often asked to make some important scenes more effective and dramatic by sound design even in wall to wall dialogue situation this is a highly undesirable state of affairs if sound designers are involved from the pre production stage of films it might be possible to cut down the budget requirements as well as reduce the time needed to construct expensive sets by appropriately using the soundscapes ideally the sound designers should be involved at storytelling stage itself and provided with a copy of script to enable them to go through it and put sound markers at important stages of script 
The design sounds may be from libraries of sound effects or custom made design sounds. It helps the director of film also to be aware of unfolding soundscapes in the storyline. The films thus becomes more of a collaborative effort rather than a department to department bureaucratic process. This makes the film a work of art which otherwise may appear to be a procedure bound product. Production stage is when film is being shot and all diegetic sounds that is dialogues, environmental soundscapes are being recorded. It is one of the most expensive part of the film production due to multitude of reasons like shooting in foreign locations and artists time, their availability etc. Therefore, it is of paramount importance that due care must be taken in all departments of filmmaking including sound recording during this stage. Care must be taken in proper selection of sound equipment, particularly recorders and microphones. For the sensitivity, pickup pattern, full frequency response, use of wind shields, pop filters and microphone, wind screens, etc. Microphone if not properly selected and used may introduce sound related problems which may not be removed at post production stage. For example, an omnidirectional mic is the best choice for picking up environmental sounds but it is unsuitable if shooting in a noisy environment and intelligibility of dialogues is of higher importance. Under such conditions, a unidirectional microphone with greater directivity is a better choice. Similarly, a unidirectional microphone is a better choice when placed close to source where large reverberation of the recording environment is to be avoided. Generally speaking, the built-in microphone of recorders should be avoided for use. External microphones enable a selection of wider range of characteristics. Moving parts of the sound recorders have become non-existent with the advent of digital recording. This avoids by chance recording of noises made by moving parts of the recorders. Digital recorders permit a far superior recording quality than analog recorders.